Hello, my name is Tomasz Jaszek, and in this video I will present solutions to per encoder challenge powered by Codility. In this challenge we are giving a string and we would like to remove as many letters as possible from it, but we are limited to removing fragments of this string that starts and ends with the same letter and are at least two letters long. And we need to write a function that returns the length of the shortest string that can be obtained after these removals. Let's see some example. In this string we can start by removing a prefix of length 3 because it begins and ends with the same letter, the letter A. We cannot remove fragments of length 1 because then the task would be very easy, but we can remove fragments of length 2 provided the two letters are the same. So we removed fragment BB, but we can do even more by removing another fragment that starts and ends with A. After these three removals, we obtained word DBC, in which every letter appears only once, so we cannot remove any more fragments from this word. Therefore, this set of removals shows that the answer is at most free. This example also gives us an opportunity to see how removed fragments are located in respect to each other. They can be either disjoint or one is strictly inside the other. But it turns out that in the latter case we don't need this smaller fragment. For instance, in our example, if we hadn't removed the fragment BB, its letters would have been removed by the longer fragment. Therefore, we can assume that there's an optimal solution in which all removed fragments are disjoint. But how to find this optimal set of fragments to remove? We can try some ideas for greedy algorithms. For example, we can iterate on the string from left to right, and every time when we are at the letter that can start a new fragment to remove, we remove the shortest possible such fragment. So in our example, we can remove a fragment starting from A, so we remove the shortest one. Then, since we have only one letter D in the whole string, we cannot start any fragment from D, so we move to another letter. From B, we remove another fragment of length 3. The next B is the only one left in the string, so we need to ignore it. And we remove another fragment of length 3, starting and ending in C. So this sequence of removals gave us a better solution, and it shows that the answer is at most 2. But we can use another greedy algorithm in which we remove the longest fragment possible. So in our example, we would start from the first A and remove all the letters until the last A. But using this idea, we would end up with a single C at the end of the string. Nevertheless, this one removal shows us that the answer is at most one. Unfortunately, all these greedy ideas fail to find the optimal solution of cost zero. We can obtain it by removing the prefix of length 6, next fragment of length 2, and finally the suffix of length 3. Therefore, the answer to this test is 0. So, since the greedy strategies didn't work here, let's try to construct the solution for the whole problem by investigating solutions for the smaller subproblems. Let's see how the optimal solution looks like in respect to the first letter of the string. We have two cases to consider. Either this letter is not a starting position of the fragment, so it won't be removed. Therefore, we can forget about it and recursively solve the problem on the suffix of the string without this first letter. In the other case, we remove the fragment starting in this first letter A, and we consider a subproblem on the suffix starting in the next position after the removed fragment. Of course, since we don't know on which A it is optimal to end the removed fragment, we need to consider all possibilities. So we can see that in order to calculate the solution to the whole problem, we first need to calculate the solutions to smaller subproblems, which are the suffixes of the original string. The general technique we'll use here to produce solutions to the problem based on solutions to subproblems is called dynamic programming. We will be filling one-dimensional array dp in which for cell i we store the optimal answer for the suffix starting in position i. 
we will calculate it recursively using the idea discussed before. We look at the letter at position i. So in the first case, it is not removed. So our cost is equal to one because we need to pay for this one unremoved letter plus the optimal answer for the rest of the string. So for the prefix starting in position i plus one. In the other case, we remove some fragment starting in position i and ending in position j. So our cost is the optimal answer for suffix starting in position j plus one. For all positions j greater than i, such that the letter at position j is the same as the letter at position i. So we have a recursive formula that allows us to calculate the value dpi based on the values in ri dp for positions greater than i. Thus, we'll be calculating the values in the ri dp, iterating over the positions decreasingly from n minus one to zero. In order this recurrence to work, we need to consider a base case for this recurrence. It's convenient to use as the base case the empty suffix starting at position n, for which the optimal answer is obviously zero. After we calculate the whole array dp, the answer for our problem is, of course, dp of zero. Let's look at the implementation. First, let's make a variable for a length of the string and initialize the array dp of length n plus one. The base case is for suffix of length zero. Then we'll make a loop for starting positions of the suffixes in decreasing order. First, we initialize dpi with the case in which the letter in position i is not removed. Then we loop over all subsequent letters, which are the same. And we consider the case in which we are removing the fragment ending in this letter. At the end, we return dp of zero as the answer. All right, let's run the code. It passes sample test cases successfully, but when judged by the Codility servers, it will get 100 points for correctness, but unfortunately not for performance. That's because the time complexity of our program, it's not the best possible. We calculate the value of dp for each n positions in the string, but during each calculations, we make another loop over position j. Therefore, the total time complexity of this solution is n squared. So let's try to speed up our algorithm by getting rid of this loop over j. The idea is that if we remove a fragment starting in the letter at position i, we can either remove the fragment ending in the next occurrence of this letter, let's say in position j, and then consider the optimal answer for the subproblem starting in position j plus one, or we can remove a fragment ending in some later occurrence of this letter, but we can think about it as extending the fragment starting in position j and ending in this later position by merging it with the fragment from position i to position j. So every solution for suffix in position j in which we remove a fragment starting in position j can be extended to a solution in which we are remove longer fragment starting in position i. So it would be nice to additionally have the optimal answers for the suffixes, but limited to the cases in which the first letter is removed in some fragment. Let's store these values in the array dps. With the array dps, the recursive formula for dpi is very easy because either we have a case in which we do not remove the letter at position i, or we remove it and this whole case is covered by the value dps of i. So now we also need the recursive formula for dps. 
So let's say that J is the position of next occurrence of letter SI in the world. So either J does not exist because letter SI does not appear anymore in the world, then the answer for DPSI is just the length of the suffix, so n minus i. And if value j exists, then we have two possibilities. Either we finish the removed fragment in this position, and then we consider dp starting in position j plus 1, or we extend the fragment starting in position j, and then we consider dps starting in position j. And that is all for the formulas. Of course, we add the base case of the recurrence for the empty suffix. In this case, dps of n is also equal to zero. Since now each cell in both arrays is calculated in constant time, the total time complexity of the whole algorithm is linear. Let's update our implementation. We define the array dps and we initialize the base case. We will also use a dictionary next to remember the next occurrence of each letter. We keep the loop over i in decreasing order, but we completely rewrite its body. First we calculate the dps of i, and we initialize it with the case when there's no another occurrence of letter si. In our case we will find si in the dictionary, and based on that we'll initialize the position j. Having that, we can just calculate the formula. Next, we'll write down the formula for dpi. And we update the position of letter i in the dictionary. Let's run the code. It passes the sample test cases and now it will get 100 points for correctness and performance when tested by Kodaly servers.